We're going to actually solve some multi-step problems in this video. This is 4B. If you've skipped the previous videos for Lesson 4, you might become lost or confused, so there's going to be links in this description to catch up anything you missed, okay? Multi-step problems involve more than one calculation. It could be addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. It could be more than one addition. It could just be subtraction, subtraction. It could be division, division. It could be any combination of them. As we read the problem, we can imagine the situation and then find the data needed to solve it. We determine each step and operation that will be needed to find the answer before trying to solve it. So in other words, we make a plan of attack. Then when we're done, we check the answer to be sure it makes sense. Focus only on the information that is needed to solve the problem. So many times, especially when there's charts, there's going to be excess information. Don't let it sidetrack you. Stay focused, okay? So here we have a bake sale. There were pies, there were cakes. Here's the price of each and how many that were sold on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The first question says, how many items were sold in all? Well, here's all the sales. We need to total all of these up. So that means we're going to make an addition equation, aren't we? So here we have all the numbers, and you can actually do this pretty quick mentally. If you look for compatible numbers, we have a 6 and a 4. That's a 10. We have an 11 and a 9. That makes a 20. And then we have a 13, 8 and 5. 10 and 20 is 30, 43. You can do it very quickly, see? What was the total amount earned in pie sales? Well, there's two ways we could do this. We can multiply the 6 pies times 7 from Friday and the 11 pies times $7 from Saturday and the 8 pies times 7 from Sunday and then total up all those products to get an, a, a sum, a total amount, or we could add 6, 11, and 8 to get 25 and then multiply that by 7. We're still going to get $175, okay? So sometimes there's more than one way to do something, okay? I love cats, and I would never skin one, but there's an old saying that says there's more than one way to skin a cat, right? So on Saturday, how much more was earned in cake sales than pies? So on Saturday, there were 11 pies at $7 each, and on Saturday there were 9 cakes at $9 each. Well, we need to compare the sales between cakes and pies. It says how much more. Well, $9 times 9 cakes is $81, and $7 times 11 pies is $77. 81 minus 77 is $4. So how much more was earned in cake sales? $4. And which sold more? Pies or cakes? We take the amount of pies sold and the amount of cakes sold, separate totals, separate sums, and we compare them. Which one sold more? The pies. Now, we can also see that for every daily total, there were more pies than cakes. On Friday, there were six pies, but only five cakes. On Saturday, there were 11 pies, but only 9 cakes. On Sunday, there were 8 pies, but only 4 cakes. See how every single day the pies were winning with more sales? So we could just look at that and say there were more. So if the question is just a yes or no, true or false, pie or cake, you can just look and compare those quickly. And if it's a little confusing and the amounts go back and forth, then find the totals to compare them. All right. In this one, it's kind of easy because we can see every single day the pies had more sales. So obviously there were more pies sold. OK. This one says, what was the total amount made at the bake sale? So now we need to find out what's the total amount of money. Now, if this is part two of a question that you already answered, one part that we know pies are $175, we can just go straight into solving for the cakes. Otherwise, if it's not, if this is just a question that's by itself, we would find the total of the pies, six on Friday at $7, 11 on Saturday for $7, and eight on Sunday for $7, or we could do the 25 times seven, like we talked about here. We do the same thing for the cakes. They're $9 each. We do 5 times 9, 9 times 9, and 4 times 9. We add these products up 
we get a total sum of $162. Now, remember, we're supposed to be finding the total amount at the entire bake sale. So now we just add the two totals together, the 175 and the 162, and we get $337 in total sales. All right? So there's lots of steps, and actually, they're not really hard steps. There's just a lot of them. It's a bunch of easy steps that is going to make you take a little longer. So don't let this bother you. It's no big deal. It's not hard. It's just a lot, okay? How many more pies would they need to sell to make $400? So what if the class was going on a trip and they needed $400 for their trip and that's why they had the bake sale, but they only sold $337 and the bake sale was almost over and everyone said, how many more pies do we need to sell to make our, our goal? Well, we take the amount, $400, and we compare it to what they did sell. 337 and find the difference. That would be 63 more dollars needed. The pies are seven dollars a piece. That means they would need nine more pies. See? We divide that 63 by the price because that's an amount, a dollar amount, that's a dollar amount. See? So we're comparing apples to apples. See? The same things to find nine more pies. All right? Sometimes we're at the grocery store and we have to do multi-step problems. There's two cans of coffee, which is the better value. We have a 30-ounce can for $9.99 and we have an 11-ounce can for $5.99. And actually, these are real prices for Maxwell House that I looked up. Which is the better deal? Well, what we do is we take the amount, the $9.99, and we divide it by the ounces, the total ounces, the 30, that's going to give us a price per ounce of 33 cents. When we do the same thing for the smaller can, we do the $5.99 divided by the 11 ounces. It's 54 cents per ounce. That's not a good deal. So it looks like if you buy the bigger can, you're going to be saving 21 cents per ounce. Wow. That's almost like getting a half a can for free. All right? So we divide to find the price per ounce. When you're at the grocery store, they actually have on the shelf, you'll see on the shelf, you know, the little price tags. You'll see down in one of the little corners, this corner or that corner, it'll say price per ounce or, you know, price per gram or whatever the per is. But it'll help you decide which is the better deal. If it doesn't have that, you can do it yourself. You can pull out your phone calculator and just divide the, the amount it's selling for by how many ounces are in it. And you'll find the better value, okay? Now, you're ready to do the GED skill focus on page 61. Just be very careful, read each problem carefully, and relax, and you'll get it, okay? Our next video is setting up problems, that's 4C, and there's going to be questions on the GED that you don't really need to solve it. It just says, okay, here's the word problem. Which of these equations would solve that word problem. So you need to recognize the correct equation. Okay, and we're going to talk about that. If you need more help, click this video's description. When I made my lower grade math videos, a lot of them are basically the same topics, multi-step problems, order of operations. But you know, I was a little slower and kinder and gentler teaching the lower grades. And maybe that's what you need to understand what's going on, all right? If you can watch any of these or all of these, it's only going to help you. And if you've missed the previous videos for this playlist, I advise you to go back and watch them because you're missing some important stuff that can help you, all right? All you're going to do is hurt yourself. If you watch every single one of the videos in this playlist and you completely understand them, you will pass the math portion of the GED test. And the other thing that you need to know, I release a video every day around uh, Central Standard Time around 11 or 12 o'clock, around lunchtime. But if you check the playlist, there's future videos in there that you can watch and not have to wait for me to release one each day. So even though the playlist is un under construction, keep your eyes on it because there might be more in there than you think, okay? Maybe you can subscribe to the playlist. All right, I'll see you next video. Keep trying. Bye.